History made in Maryland today. Wes Moore becomes the state's first black governor. Hello, everybody, and welcome into News 4. I'm Jim Adley. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Yancey. Also today, as Governor Moore acknowledged the long road to this moment, but celebrated what he called a bright future. Maryland, our time is right now. Our time is now to build a state that for those who came before us, that they fought for, and it's a state that leaves no one behind. This is not a slogan. It is the fulfillment of a hope. Maryland, it's time. Let's lead and let's do it together. Governor Moore also outlined his policy goals and cast aside political partisanship. News 4's Darcy Spencer was in Annapolis for today's inaugural festivities. I, Wesley Watende Omari Moore. Democrat Wes Moore sworn in as the first African-American governor in the state of Maryland and only the third black elected governor in our nation's history. His hand on a Bible once owned by Frederick Douglass, a former enslaved Marylander who escaped to freedom and became an abolitionist leader. We're blocks away from the Annapolis docks where so many enslaved people arrived in this country against their will. And we are standing in front of a capital that was built by their hands. And that I will be faithful. Aruna Miller making history too as the first South Asian woman elected lieutenant governor in Maryland. Moore emerged from the state house with his wife Dawn and their two children as governor and first lady of Maryland. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for the honor. Moore's inauguration was outside the State House on Lawyers Mall, which has a prominent statue of Maryland's first black U.S. Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. Moore was introduced by Oprah Winfrey, strong supporter during his campaign. And I know that with Wes Moore as your governor, Maryland's best days lie ahead. Moore's speech touched on topics from education, building an equitable economy, to ending child poverty, to public safety. We can and we will support our first responders who risk everything to protect us and change the inexcusable fact that Maryland incarcerates more black boys than any other state in this country. Moore also spoke about protecting the Chesapeake Bay, saying clean energy will define the state's economy. And we will put Maryland on track to generate 100 percent clean energy by 2035 and create thousands of jobs in the process. There was a 19-gun salute and a Maryland Air National Guard flyover. Let us all Music sung by Maryland students. The inauguration attended by local, state, and national dignitaries and Marylanders from across the state here to witness history firsthand. Moore and his supporters will continue the celebration this evening with the People's Ball. It's set to get underway at 7 o'clock at the Baltimore Convention Center. In Annapolis, Darcy Spencer, News 4.